Hello, welcome to my new video. In this video I want to show you my new toy. This is M5 stick model C. Uh, this is Internet of Things development board produced by M5 stack company. And this board is powered by ESP32 chip and it can be programmed on many ways. Like always I'm using Arduino IDE with some additional libraries to program it. This M5 stick can be connected to internet using Wi-Fi, so it is perfect for Internet of Things projects. It uh, is this is small product, but it packs a bunch of useful stuff. It have a built-in uh, TFT display, which looks great. It have built-in battery two program, programmable buttons, real-time uh, clock chip, infrared LED which is hidden here uh, so it can be used as remote controller for I, I don't know for TV. It have a normal LED LED hidden here, microphone, accelerometer, Wi-Fi and much more. Here is a USB-C connector used uh, for programming and charging battery. And here we can find additional GPIO pins for external modules, sensors or devices. For example, I have this sensor here which can measure temperature, humidity and pressure. I didn't try it yet. Uh, here is also this connector which can be used for many modules produced by uh, M5 Stack company. You can check all modules on website m5stack.com. And here is this sticker on the uh, back of board which have many useful informations. When board is installed in Arduino IDE, there is folder with many examples. Here is here is an example for real-time clock. And it is great example because it is uh, easy to learn from it. But it looks bad. So I created this sketch. This is simple clock. I can carry it in my pocket or put it uh, near my bed so I can check time in the middle of the night. Here I can see time, date, year, day of week. Here is voltage of battery and here is a level of brightness. I can change brightness with uh, this button. There is four levels of brightness and I can cycle through all four levels. This button is used uh, to invert display colors. So if you are not dark side you can join light side by pressing this button. But let's go back to dark side. Here I added this animation which add some, uh, to add some movement to this clock. I created this animation um, using this GIF GIF. I split it uh, to frames and converted each frame to format that is needed. I used that software that I created. If you want to know more about that software, feel free to subscribe because in a few weeks I will make video and in that video I'm planning to share my software and explain how to use it. Uh, code of this clock is um, like always is free and I will post link in the description so feel free to download it and use but don't forget to subscribe and please like and comment this video tell me what you think about this product stay safe and goodbye I will see you next week 
I promise. I hope. Maybe. <laughs>